What's going on, people? It's your boy Drift. Welcome to Coppish and welcome to another edition of the Daily News Show. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me today, people. Um, woke up with a sore throat, no idea where it came from, uh, and just trying to send it back wherever it came from. So I'm struggling, so bear with me, people. But what's going on, everyone? Smash that like button, make sure you subscribe if you're new. And tuck yourselves in for a couple of minutes of Liverpool news. We've got a couple of actual stories that are actually true today. No rumours. Well, this first one's a rumour, but, you know, you'll see where I'm coming from. Right. Nathaniel Naldini. Um, Brighton, after losing Ben White, obviously, to Arsenal. It's not official, but uh, the fee's about 50-odd million pounds. Um, they need a replacement. And Phillips is actually the person who they have targeted as that replacement. So Brighton are now very much interested. They've acquired. They want to know what I'll go on. But it's starting to get a little bit more serious. Um, so <sighs> i got a feeling that he probably will go. I think he'd do well at Brighton. Uh, he'd play every week. It'd be a good move for them. It'd just be a shame to see him go now, isn't it? He's become a little bit of a of a legend at the club after after his heroics in the end of last season. And it'd be good to keep him around, man. I feel like he'd make a good fifth choice. Um, and we never we don't want to be in a situation like we were last season ever again. And I think at his age, he can afford to give us maybe one or two more years where he's not going to be guaranteed to start and then if anything changes after that, then maybe, you know, when he's around 26, maybe he can be like, yeah, do you know what? Let me go and play. But he's at Liverpool, man. He's at the top of the tree. So it'd be nice if he stayed around, but looking like he may be on his way out with Brighton really looking hot on his heels. Um, And as I said, now to some real news, some actual factual stuff. Um, Awonye has completed a move to Hertha Berlin. No, Union Berlin, apologies, um, for 6.5 million. The strike has been been allowed to go. There was one or two other clubs. Rangers was also after him as well. Um, but yeah, he's gone to, to Union. Um, it's, it's a good price, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? It is a good price. Wish him well. Hope he goes and does his thing. You know what I mean? Improves himself. Um, but yeah, another little bit of money coming in. Is this going into the transfer budget or is this going into pockets? Yeah? We'll see about that one, innit? We will see about that. But now, wish him well. All jokes aside, wish him well. And, you know, go do your thing, bro. Um, And to the biggest news of the day, your boy, Marco Gruic, has actually left Liverpool, guys. He's got to have been the most loaned out what are we going to do with him player we've had for the longest time. He's been at the club for five and a half years and I swear he's been loaned out every single year by the first one. No, even the first year. Yeah, like this guy has been loaned here, there and everywhere. But today, he finally seals the deal to Porto for 10.5 million smackaroonies. Um, which is double what we paid for him. Plus, we obviously got a little bit of loan fees here, there and everywhere. So we've actually made quite a big profit on him. It's not a, it's not a massive amount of money, but we have made quite a profit on him. Um, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's finally got a home where he knows this is where he'll be and he'll play because it must have been horrible for him to keep going back and forward like a yo-yo. Do you know what I mean? Like, it must have been really horrible. And... um. At least he's finally got a home now, somewhere where he wanted to go. And the fee's decent, as I said. I would have wanted more based on his talent. Like, if I'm being completely honest with you, the guy is, is easily a £20 million midfielder. Easily, easily. He is a very, very good midfielder. I actually rate Gritch. And I would have had no issue at any point if Klopp would have actually given him, given him a chance. I said last summer, maybe we should keep him around. Like, he is a very good player. So... Good luck to him. I hope he goes and does his thing um, and, and has a great career. And um, this kind of shows as well that 
I think we're starting to realise with a lot of these players not having long left on, on their contracts and stuff like that, I think we're starting to realise we have to lower our expectations on how much money we want. Um, there's been too many summers gone by where we've wanted more money than the team is willing to, to give us and then the player stays and then he just goes on a loan and then his value's decreasing as his contract runs down. I think with Grubich, this is an example that we are going to start lowering our 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 demands on the player because Grubich was 20 million or nothing a year or two ago. Now we've taken 10, which is half that. You get what I mean? So I know we've picked up some loan fees along the way, which will still tally up, but I think it just shows you. So maybe with some of the other players in the squad, Edwards and, and the man them are gonna are gonna get these guys out the door for prices lower than what we normally would have wanted, but at least getting them off the books finally. And I'm not even gonna say clearing out the deadwood because I don't even think we have any players that are actually deadwood. I just think we have players that are, are what I would call surplus to requirements. I would call it they can't play in this system and it's time to just do a refresh. It's not a situation. Um, where I would just say, oh, Deadwood, oh, you're a crap player, get out. Shakiri, uh, Nabi, Minamino, uh, Gruich, Oxley chamberlain these guys are not Deadwood. They're just players who I believe the time is right for them to move on. Do you know what I mean? Whoever gets these players, he's getting a good player if they can keep them fit for the majority. Um, this isn't a situation where, you know, these guys are just, yeah, how are these guys even balling? So good luck, Mr. Mr. Gruich, and uh, I hope you have a good, prosperous career, my friend. Um, and there you have it, people. Some actual permanent moves on the out. Um, let me know what you guys think of the fee for these guys and how well they'll do it there at the clubs they're going to. Would you actually let Nat go? How much would you let him go for, especially knowing that they're going to be sitting on 50 million, baby? 50 Gs, baby! Um, so how much would you want for Nat? And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side, people. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, people. Stay tuned to the channel a little later on as well. We've got some watch-alongs coming for you. Like we've got some other stuff. We've got some members' videos dropping this week as well. Um, and if you're a member, make sure you check out the two videos we dropped last week. They were fun to film, so hopefully they're fun to listen to and, and watch. And um, we'll be back on the other side, people. It's your boy Drift with the Daily News Show, and I'm out.